Hello! So I wanted to do a hopefully quick video to show you uh, how I currently am using my pocket and my mini Filofax Maldens and Ochre. Now I have now all of the sizes. I have the mini, the pocket, I have the personal, and I have the A5. They're all using for different things. I had been using this pocket as my on-the-go planner, but now since I'm taking my traveler's notebook everywhere with me, I no longer needed this. And so I was trying to figure out what I would do with it. I wanted to use it, and I knew I was going to be looking for the mini, so I wanted to have a use for that too. And so I found the blog post that's been shared several times, 105 uses for a Filofax. And something in there, one of those inspired me um, to create a Filofax set up as a scrapbook sort of thing for my kids. Um, so this one is for my oldest, and this one is for my youngest. The youngest one doesn't have too much in it yet because a lot of the categories don't really apply to him yet. He's only 18 months, or I guess 19 months now, but he's only a year and a half. And so I can't fill it out quite as much as I can um, with the older one. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I'll show you um, afterwards how, how I'm starting to set this one up. But this one, by its nature, these are works in progress, so they're not fully set up, and they will never be fully set up because I will keep adding to it over time. That's the point of it. But I wanted to show how I have it initially. Um, so I'm trying to think if I have anything, any of these. I can feel something in there. Oh, that's from back when it was a wallet. I have a couple of cards still in there. So I didn't even realize those were there. So here I have just a clear um, dashboard that I thought was pretty that I would gotten from somewhere. And then these are the dividers that I had made. Um, it's just double-sided scrap of paper, didn't even laminate. So my first section is pictures. And so currently I haven't added the ones from when he's younger. I start with his first school pictures. Um, the first school pictures that I had that were the right size. So this was spring of 2014. This is my oldest. And here's the one from this past fall at his new school. He started a pre-K. So fall of 2014. I just put these pictures onto some scrapbook paper um, to make them the right size. But I'm going to be adding uh, eventually the one from his school picture the year before and then his one-year-old and two-year-old pictures. Um, and I will continue to add to this for the school picture every year over time so that I can look back and see how he's grown. So the next section, again, is double-sided scrapbook paper. This was a pin that I had pinned on Pinterest several years ago. I think my oldest was just a baby at the time of a list of questions to ask your child every year. And the pin, she put it together in a photo book along with a picture of the child. I never got that far, and so I just had the answers from previous years on a sheet of like on a file on my computer. Um, but I wanted to have it where I could look at it, and so I used just some alphabet stamps um, and number stamps and made these with some of the categories that um, that I wanted to, that I'm keeping track of each year. And so I have for each year so far. This is two. I start at two because when they're one, they can't really answer all those questions. Um, two three, and four. Um, he'll be five in September, and so I will add the next one there. Again, this will evolve with time. So the next section, this is my quotes section. These are funny things that Ethan has said. Um, I have not yet gone back and filled in ones from the past because I have another place that I was recording them digitally. Uh, so now I need to go back and put them in writing. But this, I didn't have them all together before, so this is going to be nice to have them all together. Um, this is just starting from when I first set this up, which was in the beginning end of February. So plenty of paper. I got this paper from some notebooks that I cut down. Is what I have been using as a notepad in when I had the Kiki K small in my pocket size videos. Um, so I cut down the paper a little bit more and stuck it in here. The last section, um, currently I just have the Kiki K, I'm unique because it seemed fitting with there. The last section, I'm still waiting to find some pocket size A to Z tabs for a good price. But once I have the A to Z tabs in, that's where I'm going to put different things about him um, that I want to keep track of. So under C might be clothing sizes, under F might be food likes and dislikes. Um, and just little tidbits about him that I want to keep track of and maybe see how they've changed over time. Um, that aren't covered under the under this one under the favorites that I'm asking him every year. So then I just have notepad in the back for any notes about him, and this is 
I've seen you've seen this before in some of the videos, the Zebra Telescopic Pen. I think it's SL-F1. Um, but I actually have an order in for some more of these because I love these in my small planners. So I'll briefly show how I have set up, started to set up the mini. Um, again, this is just a little, it says Forever Young on it, which I thought was fitting, especially for my littlest one. Um, more dividers that I made are the same double-sided scrapbook paper. I haven't gotten any of the pictures printed out yet. I only have one for him since he's one. Um, some mini paper, mini sized paper, so I can start for his next birthday, which will be in August. His second birthday was when we start doing the favorites. He's not, he's saying words, but he's not really saying anything beyond words that would be something I want to write down. So I don't have anything in here yet but paper. But I do have the A to Z tabs and have some things filed under there for stuff to keep track of with him. Um, and then in the back, you bring so much love to my life. So it's just a Project Life card that seemed fitting for this. So that's how I'm currently using my little Maldens, my pocket and my mini. And I'm really glad to have found a use for them. And it's something that these planners bring me joy and my boys bring me joy. And so it seemed to go perfectly together for a use. So I hope that this has inspired you to maybe create something like this for your own kids. I'm hoping this will be a keepsake that I can keep working on and then maybe hand off to them once they are old enough to appreciate it and have it all together for them because there is still plenty of space for memories to be added. So thanks for watching. I have another video hopefully I'm going to be making in the next few days um, to show I have another mini in gray, another mini Malden, and I want to sh I'm still working on getting it set up. It's going to be my travel and activity binder. Um, but once I have that set up, I will hopefully be able to film a quick video on it and show how, show how I'm doing it. And uh, I've, I've been big on finding uses for things lately in order to justify keeping them. So I'm getting creative. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching as always. Bye.